Hackstack.io, bite-sized tutorials for busy people. Now we're getting close to the end of the tutorial and we have the bulk of our page built out and looking great. So we want to make sure that we set things up to stay looking great, regardless of whether you're looking at the page on a large screen, your laptop, a tablet, or your smartphone. See what happens here as we resize the browser window to be smaller, sort of like how it would be when viewing it on a smartphone? Not so great, is it? Our two boxes are behaving oddly. They're not stacking up correctly on top of each other like we would expect them to. Well, the good news is that technically, from the browser's perspective, everything is working 100% as it should. Our left box is still floating to the left, and our right box is still floating to the right. They're just now on top of each other since there isn't enough horizontal room on the screen for them to both fit side by side. But you and I both know by now that what's technically correct for a computer doesn't always look nice to us humans. What we really want is for our two boxes to stack right on top of each other, being centered on our smaller screen. So how are we going to do that? Well, I'd like to introduce you to something completely new that we haven't encountered yet. Please meet a little bit of very handy code called the at media style, otherwise known as conditional CSS. Let's go ahead and type that in, leaving some space between all the brackets and parentheses that the selector will be using. So why is it conditional? Well, because it only applies under certain conditions. That's a truism for sure if ever I've heard one, but let's go ahead and take a look at how this actually works and what it is we're really talking about here. In the plain parenthesis here, we're going to set the condition that we want to use as a trigger for our conditional CSS. In this case, since we're concerned with device or window size, we're going to use max width as our property. 